An interface is a collection of related functionality. An audio player is an audio player only if it implements the ability to play, pause, stop, etc. We can say that the functions play, pause, stop are together an interface called iAudio controls. So basically an interface is a set of functions grouped together under the interface keyword. An interface cannot contain instance data members. They can however contain static data members. But that's an entirely different thing because static members are tied to a class or interface but not to a specific object. So interface cannot contain anything that is specific to an object. For example, it cannot contain data members. They contain functionality. In this tutorial, we examine various aspects of interfaces from c -sharp point of view, from c -sharp perspective. First of all, we shall create an interface that contains the most commonly added members. An interface is written with the interface keyword. The name of an interface usually starts with the letter i in uppercase. If a class implements an interface, then it must provide a definition for each and every function that has been declared without a body. The default access modifier in an interface is public, but you can use others as per need. This interface declares a function without giving its body. c -sharp compiler treats this function as public, so we do not have to specifically mark it as public. The function doesn't define its body. It is therefore compulsory for an implementing class to provide the body for this function. An interface can provide a default implementation of a function. For example, we have a function called myName that returns a string i my interface. The implementation is now optional because a default body has been provided. Here we have used the shortcut to define this function because it is a single line function. The return statement is not required for expression bodied functions. If this function is confusing, then we have next added another function myName2 that provides the body in the well known traditional syntax. An interface can contain properties as well. It can provide default implementations. If no implementation is provided, then the compiler treats it as a signature declaration, which makes it compulsory for an implementing class to provide the body. Here we have added a property called version. The interface hasn't provided the body for the getter function, so it is now compulsory for the implementing class to provide its body. As already explained, an interface cannot contain instance data members. We shall get a compiler error if we try to add a member called int m data. This is an important difference between an abstract class and an interface. An interface can contain static data members and static functions and therefore static constructors as well. It's not that strange as it might appear because static members are tied to the name of the interface and not to the objects of the implementing classes. Starting from c 11 version, it is possible to add virtual static members also. Such members are used for scenarios that require operator overloading. For more detail on that, you will have to refer to the MSDN documentation. And now let's see a comparison between c -sharp interface and abstract classes. There is so much common between an interface and an abstract class that makes it imperative to learn the differences between the two. Firstly, an interface describes the capabilities of the implementing class. But an abstract base class is a building base for similar types of classes. An interface cannot 